Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Type Repair video. In today's edition, we're going to be working on a Acer Aspire 3 17 inch laptop. This unit was mailed into us for a logic board replacement, uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so we're going to start by removing all of the Phillips head screws that hold this bottom panel on. Now that we have all of these screws out, we're going to use a little plastic spudger and separate the bottom case from the top case. And there we are. So the very first thing we're gonna do when we're inside of the unit here is disconnect this battery connection here to the main board. We are and now we're gonna go ahead and use our screwdriver again to take out our SSD we're gonna pop the RAM out by pushing outward on the two retention clips we're gonna first unplug and then unscrew the Wi-Fi card Then we're gonna go around the unit here by just unscrewing first these two screws that hold not only the motherboard, uh, but also the CPU fan in place. All right, so now that we have the CPU fan unscrewed, uh, it's under this tape cover here, but we're gonna go ahead and unplug it as soon as we get this little piece of tape off. Now we're gonna go ahead and unplug the fan from the header on the motherboard and pull the fan out inside of the side and now we're going to go around the board and unplug all these various connectors we're going to start in the bottom right with the speakers and we're going to move to the bios speaker we're going to flip up the retention bar for one of the keyboard cables as well as this daughter board cable here We're gonna unplug this cable. It's not in use, but this is the uh, SATA data cable. Uh, this board is using an NVMe SSD, uh, so this unit did not have a SATA two and a half inch drive installed. And our last connection here to undo is the LCD connector. We're just gonna push on either side and it'll pop out just like that. Now there's just a few screws holding the unit in. Okay, so it looks like this right hinge here actually holds in the board so we're gonna remove uh, the three screws at this hinge location there is one more a uh, cable running to this IO board uh, that we need to unplug so we're gonna first remove the four screws that hold this two and a half inch drive slide in We're gonna unpeel this two and a half inch drive out of here. Okay, we all set that aside. And there's a little piece of captain tape uh, holding this cable in place. Uh, but first we're gonna go ahead and unplug it from the daughter board and peel it up. And now the board is actually finally ready to come out. There we are. So this is our old, uh, unfortunately no longer working logic board here. We're gonna replace it with our new one, but we have to take some parts off of this one first. All right, so as you can see, this is our new replacement board here. Uh, we do have to take the heat sink off and put it on the new unit as well as this IO board cable. We're gonna start the heat sink here uh, by unfastening these three screws here. We're gonna clean off that thermal paste on there uh, so that way when we apply new thermal paste to the new unit everything is all new and fresh all right so now that we have all that thermal paste cleaned off what we're gonna go ahead and do is apply new and fresh thermal paste to our cpu here we're 
we're going to take our heat sink and lay it on there. And there is an order in which you uh, fasten the screws down. It is labeled, so we're going to start with one at the top here. And move down to two at the bottom. And the third one on the right hand side. Alright, so that's the heat sink installed. One more part to take from our old board here. It's going to be this uh, motherboard to I.O. board cable. We can set our old board aside now. We no longer need it. And we're going to flip this over. And install the I.O. board to motherboard cable. That's our new motherboard, all prepped for installation. So we're gonna take our motherboard and lay it down into place. Just making sure that we don't cover any of the necessary cables that we need to plug in. There we go. We're gonna start by plugging in the I.O. board cable on the left hand side here. And laying the captain tape back into place. And then we're going to move on to this two and a half inch drive sled. And the four associated screws. We're going to go ahead and plug in and line up our CPU fan before we screw the motherboard in, just to make sure everything is in its correct location. And one thing to note that I almost did here, you want to make sure that you do not cover and lose your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth cables here. All right, so everything looks lined up. So we're going to go ahead and start fastening the board back into place. make sure that these uh, LCD hinge screws are all the way tight. If they aren't, uh, the lid may close by itself and that's something we're not looking for. So now we're going to go around and plug all the cables into the board. I'm going to start at the top with the LCD connection here. I'm going to go down to the right hand side with the front speaker. BIOS speaker as well, one of the keyboard or trackpad cables. So to get that trackpad cable in, you may have to remove the battery uh, just to be able to get more slack to fit it into place. We're not going to plug the battery in right now, we're going to do the rest of the work first. And this is going to be the keyboard cable. And we're going to plug the two and a half inch uh, drive cable in, even though there's nothing in here, just for continuity sake. 
Now we're going to install the RAM by lining up that center slot uh, with the one on the board and pressing it downward. Now we're going to move on to the Wi-Fi card. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install it first, making sure to not block any of our cables. We're going to secure it into place using its included screw. And we're going to plug in our cables here. They are labeled. Uh, so the second lowermost antenna is going to be the black auxiliary, and the white one is going to be the main cable. All right, so it's our Wi Fi card and Wi Fi antenna is installed. One thing left here, we're going to go ahead and install the M.2 SSD. Now we're going to plug in our battery. Close up the bottom panel. And put all of our screws back in. Alright, so that's our unit all reassembled. Let's go ahead and give it power and turn it on. Alright, so we've got a charger here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And turn on the unit. Alright, and the unit is fully working now. It took a little bit to get through uh, post and memory training, but everything looks good. I thank you guys for watching, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and with the help of the community, we'll be sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdep.com. Click the link below for mail-in repairs. We'll see you guys in the next episode.